Hello World Civ 106 classes, uh, welcome to week 12, and uh, we are moving quite along now. So, um, before I just say a few words about uh, this week, and I'm not going to have a very long announcement um, today. Um, so, uh, I want you all, again, to keep in mind, um, I'm very flexible with uh, uh, schedules if you, if you have late work. But um, let's just be careful as we get closer and closer to the end of this uh, semester. I'm not going to um, be able to, to necessarily uh, grade a massive amount of late work from everyone. Um, so don't worry if we're already in communication on this. But um, I really do want you to just encourage you to try to your best to keep up and get in um, some, some assignments if you're on, uh, behind. Um, what else did I want to say about that? Okay, so, um, we covered the, the, the elves, the, the, I mean the fairies with the, with Ireland, and uh, I was happy to see a lot of you very interested in that video. So I thought that I would also attach to this uh, announcement a post on Iceland and fairies dealing with the, uh, modern times. So it's kind of a wild um, thing. Um, you're going to be surprised to find that uh, beliefs in fairies and elves, parts of Europe, not much, but parts still have these kind of beliefs, or do they? I mean, so watch the clip. I just want to say this: that when I was in I, uh, sorry, when I was in Thailand, um, many people believed in spirits and that if you didn't feed them or leave out uh, food or drink that you could get yourself into trouble with a trickster spirit so i might have mentioned this in another lecture i can't remember but um it's it very common in thailand to have a, the, a little boy and it's called the uh, kumintong um he's the golden boy and um he will play he will get angry if he doesn't get appeased or he'll give you good luck and so Strawberry fango soda seems to be the main thing that um, he likes to have. And so I, th I think that Thailand is the fourth largest consumer of strawberry fango soda. And everywhere I would you'd go in the country or out in the city and you see um, strawberry fango soda with straws being left out. Um, environmentally, I don't know if that's really such a good thing, but uh, perhaps it keeps the spirit boy calm. So, uh, but what's interesting to me is that when you're looking at Southeast Asia's belief in spirits and those kind of things about appeasing and, and leaving out food and, and drink, and even in Hong Kong, I'd, you'll go see some businesses, there's like a little bowl of rice and water left out, maybe some incense. Um, and, and yet Europe st has something very similar. I think in Spain they have, it's called a duende. It can also be a word for like a dark inspiration but there's also the duendes. So all around the world, right? It's very interesting. Um, and so um, ah, I just wanted to uh, throw that out there. And then I just thought I would throw this really fun short clip about a name of a town in Wales that I cannot pronounce. And you'll see why, all those letters. Um, and um, what a lot of you don't know when I didn't get a chance to discuss is that uh, Celtic languages um, do not sound like English at all. And uh, uh, um, so English is a Germanic language. And Celtic is its own thing. So whether it's uh, Irish uh, or uh, Gaelic or Scots Gaelic, Welsh, there used to be Manx and there used to be some other uh, ones. And there's also um, uh, uh, Breton, uh, I believe, uh, Breton. There's a language in France that's also uh, Celtic. Um, anyhow, so I just thought you'd find those interesting and now we're moving on into Islam and so what we're really covering, when, when we cover Christianity and Islam, those are two religions that spread across the world much more so than others. Now, Buddhism as we saw was a missionary religion and it spread from India all over Asia and um, in many cases now, Buddhism is, is, is uh, uh, really uh, becoming much integrated into the Western world. But, um, yeah, with Islam, uh, we're, we're seeing this. And so we're going to be covering Africa soon. And in Africa, 
we have the indigenous religions there, right? Um, and then we're going to see Judaism, believe it or not, we'll get to that, and Christianity, um, Christianity even before mission at Western missionaries, uh, indigenous, what you could you could really call indigenous uh, uh, Christianity in terms of going back uh, into Ethiopia and uh, and then Islam. You know, these are all foreign religions technically, but they still play a major role uh, uh, um, also within the, uh, in the continent of Africa itself. And then later on, we're going to be covering more of, of, of uh, um, like the Mughals in India. We'll cover Sikhism a little bit later on. And I'm hoping to be able to get to um, uh, Olmecs and Maya and Aztec uh, cultures also. So we have still in the short time many cultures to cover. And um, please feel free to ask me any questions if you if you have any. And um, I wish you all well uh, on this week. No matter what anybody thinks about the elections, at least it looks like Americans at this moment are, are chill with each other. And uh, so let's just keep that up. I mean, okay, people aren't all happy. They never are after this. But whew, let's just hope <clears throat> no matter what happens, we all keep uh, chill with each other. Good. Okay. So um, have a great week and we'll be in touch.